Nicholas Harley Bluestone, Michelle Bolin. Year after year, the names of the dead are called out and loved ones toss flowers into the sea. You never forget. You never, you, it never goes away, really. At 831 on July 17, 1996, 230 people died when TWA Flight 800 exploded and fell to the ocean south of Mauritius Inlet. We have found no evidence of a, of a bomb or a missile. After a four-year investigation, the National Transportation Safety Board found that a spark in the Boeing 747's center wing fuel tank brought down the plane. But Fred Meyer doesn't buy it. Oh, I know what I was looking at. Meyer is a retired Air National Guard helicopter pilot and a decorated Vietnam veteran. <laughs> Aboard Chopper 12, Meyer showed us the practice approach he was flying at Gabreski Airport in West Hampton on the night of the crash. He says at that moment, he witnessed something chilling and familiar, a missile in flight. I saw a vapor trail streaking across the sky to my left and then an ordnance explosion, followed in about two to three seconds by a second ordnance explosion, followed in probably another two or three seconds, a little bit further to the left and slightly lower, two ordnance explosions, ta-da, and then the fireball. Meyer says it reminded him of flying his rescue chopper in North Vietnam. If I had been pre-positioned over Haiphong Harbor, and had seen that, I would have thought that they had just shot down one of our attack aircraft. Was Flight 800 downed by a terrorist missile or military accident? Is there a government cover-up? After 14 years, eyewitnesses like Meyer are keeping the questions alive. More than 200 people told the FBI they saw a fast-moving bright light and a fireball. Dozens saw it zoom straight up, and others say they watched as it arched over and homed in on Flight 800. But none of those eyewitnesses were allowed to testify at the NTSB's public hearings into the crash. The eyewitnesses did not see a missile. Instead, the FBI released a CIA video claiming that what people actually saw was Flight 800 zooming upwards after losing its nose. Nonsense, says former airline captain and crash investigator Ray Lair. Aircraft, it would have given up its speed for the climb and it would have slowed down on the radar. It didn't slow down, so therefore it didn't climb. Fred Meyer says he knows what he saw. I'm very troubled by this thing. I believe the government has to do some explaining. Pat Dolan, News 12, Long Island.